Hi there. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Creative Italian. I'm Maria, and of course, I'm The Creative Italian. So today, I'm going to be showing you, or sharing with you, how to take your solder jewelry that usually has a finish. Your solder will always have kind of a fit, silvery finish to it most of the time. And change it to either a black color or a copper color and it's so easy to do but before I get started if you like my video and you want to get notifications on when I upload a new video just hit the subscribe button down below and you will be notified also I have an Etsy store called the creative Italian so if you're interested in going to my store and looking at some of my pieces that I sell there and that the techniques that I use uh, that I use on YouTube those are the techniques I use on a lot of my jewelry pieces in my Etsy store um, seems like I was gonna say something else oh yeah if you have any comments or questions or if you like or dislike my video or whatever, whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna share with me, I'm open to that. And just leave it in the comment section, and I will definitely respond. And also, if there's something that you would like to learn that you have not seen on my videos, leave that in the comments, and I'll respond to that as well. If I know how to do it, I'll do a video on it. So <clears throat> there's two products that I'm gonna be using today. Both products can be purchased on eBay, and they're made by Novacan. And Novacan is a product that you could use on your solder to change the color of your solder. And this one is, well, it's a patina. This is a copper patina, and it makes it a real bright copper if that's what you want. And then we have the other one here that could be used on lead and solder. And this turns your product, your solder project black. So easy to do, you guys. Now here's two pieces I've already done. This one is the copper. And it has kind of more of a, a vintage, kind of an old look to it as instead of the bright copper. And I'll explain that and how I got it that way. And this one is the black patina. And I didn't do very many coatings on this. I just did a couple of coatings on it. So it has like a real old vintage, like a black, black brown. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to, of course, order your products. You can um, get them, you know, like I said, you can get these on eBay. <clears throat> and you want to get some paper towels the pieces that you plan on soldering, these two pieces have already been soldered, as you can see. Some extra paper towels because you're gonna, you're gonna have to, you're gonna wanna wipe down the excess product off your piece when you get get it to the point that you, where you're satisfied with the look. So I have two craft brushes here, paint brushes, that you can get at Hobby Lobby or, or Michaels. I got these at Hobby Lobby and they're real inexpensive to use. They're kind of like throwaway brushes. <clears throat> so I have one for the copper that I'm used just for copper and this is a brand new brush uh, and this one I'll be used today and in the future just for my black patina <clears throat> so what I recommend is go ahead and just pour a little bit in a cap to get started as opposed to um, continue you know dipping the brush in the bottle. I prefer when I'm working with flux or anything else like this where I'm painting something on, I prefer to work from the cap. But you know what, before I get started on this, one thing I forgot to mention is that when you get done with your solder on your piece, you definitely wanna clean it really good and remove any excess flux off your piece. I use just a mild soap and water and then rinse it off really good and then dry it off and then <clears throat> your piece will be ready. So here I have the copper on here. And the thing about doing the patina on your solder, depending on how you want it to look, will determine how often you go over the piece. 
<clears throat> like if you want it to just be a hint of copper, then you probably are just going to go over it maybe just one time, right? But if you want it to have more of a bright copper, then you're going to go back over it again. And you just keep painting on it until you kind of get what you're looking for. <clears throat> so here, I'm just going to keep painting. Because I actually would like to see this kind of bright. Just like that. <clears throat> this product is, it just changes everything, you know, as far as the look on a piece. Instead of just having your, you know, regular soldered look. The product, and I, I'm not here selling this product, okay, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just sharing this information with you because I like the product and what it does, right? Of course, I probably could sell for them, right? <laughs> but... It's excellent to use for glass art, for mosaics, for stained glass. So if you want to change it up, this is what you can do. Um, no, I don't really remember exactly how much I paid for both of these bottles together. I bought both of them together. But I'm going to tell you what, it's not very expensive. And a little bit goes a long way. And that is the truth. Okay, so now you can see <clears throat> that I'm getting it kind of a bright color right here. Bright color copper. And this right here on the sides, just keep painting it on until you get it the way you want it. Just like that. There you go. So now you have a piece that's a real pretty bright copper. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper towel or whatever you want to use, a rag or whatever, and you're just going to wipe it down really good. Now I'm going to share something with you here, okay? Because I'm not going to pretend that I do everything, I get all this perfect, right? This looks really good. I mean, it, re it really does. However, I made a little bit of a mistake here. See this part right here? I'm pretty sure that I did not get the flux. I didn't get the flux um, clean enough in that, off of that and this is in this grooved area right here. So I just learned something by showing you all this. So this is what you want to avoid. You want to be sure you get the flux off really good. I'm pretty sure that's got to be what that is. I could be wrong, but I don't think that I am. But anyway, you get the idea at least, right? See how pretty that is? It's so pretty. Okay, now on this other piece... I'm going to do the black. <clears throat> and the, on doing the black, it's the same thing as doing the copper. You're just going to keep painting it on until you get it about the color that you want it to be. Just pick that up. <clears throat> just like so. You know what, when I would see some pieces that people made and it would be black, I'm like, now how did they do that? How did they get that solder black? Well, I'm pretty sure this is how they did it. And this, the, I'm, I'm referring to pieces that, like I see on Etsy, okay? <clears throat> Just like that. And then turn it over. All right, now see, I see some a uh, little bit in here I didn't get. Okay, so now, right now, it's more of a black-brown. I could stop right here if I want to. No, but I want it to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to go back over it again. As a matter of fact, that's what it says on the bottle to do on the instructions, is just to keep going over your piece until you get it about the way you want it, which is what I'm doing here. <clears throat> see, as you can see, it's getting darker for sure. 
instead of having the instead of having this black brown look like like I did on this crystal it's gonna be black black which is what I'm aiming for here okay flip it over and I'm pretty sure you can probably see in the camera this side see it's more like that black black brown like on the crystal so you can definitely see that I'm sure I hope <laughs> I hope you can see it's almost blending in to the black that's already on the crystal like that so I'm going to do just a little bit more right in through here because I can see some light areas <clears throat> Hey, my next project is to find one that does gold, does, does the soldering gold. If you all know of one already and I just don't know about it, make put it in the comments and share with me where you got it and the name of it. That'd be great. I haven't, I haven't seen it, but I could be looking in the wrong place too, okay? All right, so now I'm not going to use the paper towel that I used on the copper because I don't know whether that'll affect the color or not, but... I am going to take this and just gently wipe off the excess. Yep. Just like that. <clears throat> Ooh, I almost dropped it. Okay. So there you've got this really cool looking pendant that's black. And of course I got a hole at the top of this stone, this agate slice, and I got a hole at the top of this one as well. So I could just slide a jump ring in here and just hang it on something. That's, you know, what I choose to do. So let me just move this over. Now, to get this dark, kind of vintage look that I got on this one, I just painted this with the patina one time. That's all I did, and I stopped. So that is why this turned out more darker and more kind of um, organic looking than this other piece right here. Okay, so that's how that worked out. And here you can see the difference. I think you could see the difference. Well, it's easier for me to see the difference, but this has definitely got more brown in it, whereas this has got more black in it. Okay, so that is how you easily change the color of your solder. Um, Nova Can Copper Bright Super Patina for solder, and then the Black Patina for solder and lead. Um, go ahead and give that a try, and thanks for coming by, and I'll be back with another project, and I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I'll be back. All right. Bye-bye.